Exclusive Contract with Velu Novel Network Novel Travel Frog The strongest in turn of the Rocks Group Your Frog Cub brings you the travel specialty 8 Gates Duenjia. Chen Mu travels through the world of pirates, and the plot has not yet begun. Golden Finger is a small game he once played, Travel Frog. Identity is the strongest member of the Locks Pirates. Kapu. You're so damn, call this she asterisk asterisk sheng. Warring states period. I'm numb, it's even more challenging to fight a real asterisk asterisk than to fight against locks. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. 01 Travel Frog Opening Sea King Category Seeking Fresh Flowers You are listening at NovelFull.audio New World A certain island, Chen Mu is piloting a small boat in the sea near the island, holding fishing tools and currently carrying out fishing work. Speaking of which, he is somewhat humble, he is not from this world. But from a blue planet. However, so far. He is not like the online articles or TV dramas he has watched before. As soon as you cross, you will receive a stunning golden finger. Then win by Fume and ultimately reach the peak. The world he traveled through was the world he had ever seen in one piece. And, after this period of observation. The current timeline is not the era of Luffy. It's not the era of Roger either. But it's something even earlier than Roger the Rock's era. In the era of rocks, it was evident that this sea was much darker than the era of Roger and Luffy. The degree of danger can be imagined. As for Chin Mu. In order to survive, he had to start fishing to make ends meet. However, apart from fishing, he spends all his time exercising his physical skills. At that time, the goal was also to have some self-protection ability if he did not awaken the golden finger in one day, pirates would come to this island for slaughter. By the way, isn't your luck a bit bad today? Why did you catch such a little fish for so long? Chen Mu looked at the fish on the boat and pondered. In this world, there are not only huge sea kings, but also very common small fish that are about two meters long. Neptunians generally live in the deep sea, while there are many small fish near ordinary islands, and they are rarely encountered. Of course this is just the situation of the fish near the island where Chen Mu lives. There are also a large number of sea kings living near some special islands. For Chen Mu, the amount of fish caught will determine the quantity and quality of today's food. Hello, Chen Mu, how many fish are there in your area? At a distance from Chen's wooden boat, a man shouted and asked. This person, like Chen Mu, is also engaged in fishing work. However he caught the same amount of fish as Chen Mu today, both of which were pitifully small. So he asked Chen Mu about the number of fish on his side, and if there were many, he would lean towards Chen Mu's side. Don't mention it, if we keep going like this, we won't be able to eat tonight, Chen Mu said with a hint of helplessness as he stared at the sea in front of him. He has been fishing all morning, only catching one fish. You should know that he hasn't had breakfast or lunch yet. This fish costs enough to exchange for lunch. Because along the coast here, the price of fish is extremely low. As for eating it myself Chen Mu didn't even think about it, because he had been eating fish for too long since he came to this world. Now that he smelled the taste of fish, he felt a little disgusted, let alone ate it. I don't know what happened today, it seems like the nearby fish have been eaten up, the man scratched his head and complained. Normally, the number of fish should not be so poor. After catching all morning, at least it must be a daifengshu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables. But now, like Chen Mu, he only caught one fish. This made him doubt whether something had happened in the sea, and why there were so few fish in the vicinity today. Let's catch another one for a while, I hope we can catch another one, Chen Mu prayed in secret. He basically spends the whole morning fishing and then exchanges the caught fish for money. 
the money earned is responsible for maintaining vitality throughout the day. And in the afternoon, he is used for exercise. If he can't catch fish all the time, he won't be able to exercise today. Just as Chen Mu was worried about the small amount of fish caught today. Suddenly, a voice came into his ear. No more precisely, it was transmitted into his mind. Ding, congratulations to the host for awakening the travel frog system. The traveling frog can travel across thousands of realms, bringing back items and abilities from these realms to its host. System. System. Upon hearing the sound that came to his mind, Chen Mu was taken aback and then exclaimed in surprise. He has been living in this sea area for several years. I thought the system had missed him. I didn't expect today, the system suddenly woke up. At this moment, Chen Mu really wants to say. Do you know how I've been living these past few years? However, excitement returns to excitement, and Chen Mu needs to carefully understand the system's capabilities. The game, Travel Frog, was played by Chen Mu in his past life, but he didn't expect this casual little game to become his golden finger. After a brief conversation with the system, Chen Mu also gained some understanding of the abilities of traveling frogs. The frog is ready, do the hosts want the frog to embark on a journey? Okay. Chen Mu responded eagerly. Traveling frogs can bring back abilities and items from the world. Although I don't know what the traveling frog will bring back, since it is something from the world, it must be extraordinary. However, how long does the frog need to travel before returning? Chen Mu suddenly thought of an important question and asked. If the frog could return every three days and bring back things from the world, then Chen Mu would be very happy. Because in this way, he can become a strong man in this sea in a very short time. But if a frog needs to spend several years on a trip, then Chen Mu will have a headache. However what the system said next didn't give Chen Mu much headache, but he couldn't be happy either. At present, the frog's level is relatively low, so the duration of a trip will not exceed one year. It won't exceed one year, which means there is no fixed time. Maybe a few months, maybe eleven months. Although it may take a bit longer, Chen Mu can still accept it. After all after all, there is still a system, better than nothing. Although it takes a long time for the traveling frog to bring back good things, at least it still awakens the system. If the system hadn't awakened yet, Chen Mubao might have lived on this island for a lifetime. Since we have a system, it's only a matter of time before we can traverse the sea. Due to the host's newly awakened system, a large gift package is given to the host's beginners. Should the host be turned on now? In terms of the system, it really hit Chen Yang hard and sent him a candy. Okay. Chen Mu reacted and confirmed without any hesitation. Although I don't know what's inside the beginner's gift package, since it's a system reward, it's definitely not a simple thing. Ding, congratulations on successfully activating the host and obtaining an acceleration card. Accelerator cards allow traveling frogs to complete their travels and bring back items and abilities from all over the world. I thought it would take at least a few months, but now it's a breeze. The system is still the system. Chen Mu sighed and said that he was mentally prepared to wait for several months. But now with the acceleration card gifted in the beginner gift package, there is no need to wait. You can directly obtain abilities that would have required a lot of time to obtain. Should the host use an accelerator card to allow the frog to complete this trip? Okay. Ding, congratulations to the host. The frog has successfully traveled. Please pay attention to the rewards brought back by the frog. Chen Mu clicked on the virtual screen in front of him to claim. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the ability to evade armor from the eight gates in the Naruto world. The system has overflowed the side effects brought back by the eight gates Duanjia. Is it the eight gates escaping armor? Coincidentally, I have been practicing physical skills in recent years. With this ability, my strength can be greatly improved. With the power of the eight gates of Duanjia, Chen Mu's strength has not only greatly improved. 
Similarly, in the second sentence spoken by the system, Chen Mu also had no worries. Because opening the eight gates of Duanjia in the original work will bring side effects. After opening the eight gates, it may even lead to a dead ending. The system has now removed the side effects. So he doesn't have to worry about using the eight gates Duanjia, which will bring back damage to his body, let alone worry about dying. Just as Chen Mu was standing on the ship, delighted to have obtained the eight gates Duanjia. A few shouts came into his ears. Chen Mu. Run quickly, there are sea kings in front of you. The speaker was the man who had just had a conversation with Chen Mu and complained about the lack of fish nearby. When he looked around again, he noticed the sea king in front of Chen Mu. But seeing Chen Mu in a daze, he quickly shouted loudly. Sea king type. Upon hearing the shouting, Chen Mu slowly lifted his head and saw the Sea King species floating out of the water in front of him. This Sea King, with a body length of nearly 10 meters, looks like it's in the middle of the sun, like a terrifying monster. 02 Exhibition of the Eight Gates of Might, Seeking Flowers You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Sea King appeared on the ship in front of Chen Mu, and in an instant, all the ships in the nearby waters saw this terrifying Sea King. That. That's the Sea King class. No it's not possible, Chen Mu can't escape. This Sea King is too big. Damn it, how could there be such a large Sea King class around here? I said why there are so few fish today, so it's the Sea King class. I, let's run quickly, otherwise after Chen Mu is eaten, it's our turn. At sea, on several small boats, everyone exclaimed in fear. They caught fish by the seaside and naturally encountered sea kings, but they never saw such a large sea king. In their view, Chen Mu cannot live today. But they are also powerless, after all, they are just a few ordinary people. Even with weapons, they cannot deal with sea kings who are over 10 meters long. Now they can only go all out to row their oars and run towards the direction of the island. And silently bless Chen Mu, hoping for a miracle to happen for future generations. Staring at the giant sea king in front of him, even Chen Mu felt very uncomfortable at this moment. Although he has just gained the power of the eight gates of Duanjia this is his first time facing sea kings. Roar The sea kings let out a deafening roar, and the surrounding sea level stirred up conspicuous waves. This sea king's body looks like a dragon, emitting a terrifying aura from top to bottom. Subsequently, the Sea King class opened its huge mouth and attacked Chen Mu, wanting to swallow him directly into its belly. Damn it, there's no place to hide. Chen Mu's pupils contracted violently, and he thought to himself that something was wrong. He is currently on a small boat, and all around is the ocean, with almost no room for him to dodge. If he wants to abandon the ship and swim back to the coast, this choice undoubtedly, it is very foolish. Because he is currently hundreds of meters away from the coast and wants to swim hundreds of meters in the territory where sea kings excel. What do you think it's all impossible, isn't it? The current situation is that he cannot evade attacks from sea kings, nor can he abandon the ship to survive. So the only situation facing him now is the battle. Thinking of this, Chen Mu did not hesitate and quickly used the power of the Eight Gates Duanjia. Eight Duanjia the first door, open the door, open it. Eight gates escaping armor, second gate, rest gate, open. In less than a breath, Chen Mu opened the second door of the eight Duanjia. At this moment, he felt as if his whole body was full of strength, as if he could pull a mountain. You should know that he has been practicing physical skills for several years. Although there is no one to teach him, his physique is also extremely human. Now he has opened the second door of the eight escaping armors, activating the potential in his body, which has instantly increased his strength several times more. Pop pop. Chen Mu extended his hands and directly grasped the two pointed teeth of the Sea King. Kaka. As Chen Mu exerted force, the two proud pointed teeth of the Sea King class were directly pulled out by Chen Mu. Puff. 
Two teeth were pulled out, causing great pain for the sea kings, and their bodies kept rolling on the sea surface. Ripples surged one after another, causing waves several meters high to hit Chen Mu's boat and body. Is this the power of Ba Men Dun Jiao? At this moment, even Chen Mu himself was extremely surprised as he opened the second door of the eight gates of Duan Jiao. The bloodthirsty mouth of the Sea King class had already approached him, and he had no choice but to reach out and try to extract the Sea King's teeth. But to his surprise, it was so easy to extract the teeth of the Sea King. It's as easy as walking a recovering patient to the hospital. However it can be said that Ba Men Dun Jia can exert such strong power. It still cannot be separated from Chen Mu's efforts over the years. Over the years, Chen Mu has been conducting physical training alone, with almost no rest. He trains day after day every day, which is why his physical skills are extraordinary. With the blessing of the Eight Gates Duanjia power, his strength will be greatly enhanced. Puff. Blood dripped from the mouth of the Sea King, rolling his body in pain while fiercely staring at Chen Mu, as if wanting to shatter his body into pieces. Quickly, the Sea King class launched a second round of attack, but this time he did not continue to use his huge mouth to devour Chen Mu because he had just suffered a loss in bite force. To defeat Chen Mu, he knew he couldn't use his once proud giant mouth to fight. He began to wave his massive body, wanting to shoot Chen Mu and his boat towards the sea. The sea is the home ground of the Sea King class, and they believe that as long as Chen Mu can get off the ship, he can definitely win. Bang! Sea kings resembling dragons dance with highly destructive bodies and collide with Chen Mu's boat. I only have this ship, how could you possibly destroy it for me? Chen Mu clenched his fist and looked at the body of the sea king that collided. At this moment, his face was not as nervous as when he first met a sea king, but rather showed an excited expression. How terrifying the power of Ba Men Dun Jia is, he just personally tested it. So if he continues to face attacks from sea kings, he is naturally not at all vain. Bang! With a loud bang coming. The hard and steel-like body of the sea king was directly blasted out of a large hole by Chen Mu. It looks bloody. Feeling the pain in their bodies, the sea kings at this moment finally realized their fear. He is now very clear that Chen Mu is not someone he can defeat. Continuing to fight it is a dead end. After having this idea, sea kings quickly retracted their bodies and wanted to dive into the seabed. I haven't eaten any sea king meat yet, how could I let you escape? Chen Mu said with an excited expression on his face as he saw the sea king escaping. He survived on this island for several years. But basically they eat ordinary fish and food. He hasn't eaten any sea king meat yet. In addition, sea king meat is of great value. If this sea king is caught, he can not only taste the delicious meat of the sea king. It can also be sold for a large amount of money. After all, with a length of nearly 10 meters, who wouldn't be tempted? Due to the trauma on the body of the sea king, Chen Mu completely killed it before it could penetrate the seabed. It has to be said that this 10 meter sea king's body is huge. Chen Mu's ship cannot carry such a huge object at all. So, he could only row his oars and drag the bodies of the sea kings towards the location of the island. However, as he approached the island, he saw a large number of ordinary residents standing on the shore. These residents heard about the appearance of sea kings near the shore, so they all came to take a curious look. And Chen Mu stared at the residents on the ship, although a bit strange, still rowing and dragging the bodies of sea kings towards the island. See. Sea kings, he killed them. I thought Chen Mu had already been eaten by the sea king class, but I didn't expect. He actually killed the sea king class. How? How could it be? The body of this sea king has never been seen before, estimated to be over 10 meters long. How could such a sea king be killed by him? I've seen a sea king before, although it's not big, just looking at it is enough to make people shiver, said a resident, taking a cold breath. 
many people expressed shock at Chen Mu's killing of a 10-meter-long sea king. People who can kill sea kings with their bare hands have never appeared on this island. Chen Mu is the only person on their entire island who can kill sea kings with bare hands. And still a massive sea king with a body length of over 10 meters. All the residents who watched this achievement were shocked by their arrival. By the way, he suddenly arrived on our island a few years ago. We know very little about him. Before that, we had never seen him fight against sea kings, and it's possible that. It's because he has been hiding his strength. That's right, isn't he often exercising alone in the back mountain? It seems that he should be a hidden strength powerhouse. Many people thought of Chen Mu's strangeness, so they began to infer that he was a master of hidden strength. Since arriving on this island, Chen Mu has rarely taken the initiative to communicate with people, which looks very mysterious. But at that time, they didn't care either, they just thought he had a strange personality. And now Chen Mu has already taken the initiative to communicate with them, so they have not paid much attention to Chen Mu's identity. Amidst the chatter of many residents, Chen Mu dragged a sea king over ten meters long onto the island. Chen. Chen Mu, how did you kill the sea king class? A man gathered around and asked in astonishment. He was just reminding Chen Mu that there was a man like a sea king in front of him, but at that time, he believed that Chen Mu was bound to die. He continued to stay in place, but it would only become food for the sea kings, so he left. Faced with Chen Mu killing the sea king class, he was extremely shocked at the moment. It's just a coincidence, Chen Mu said calmly, looking very relaxed as he spread his hands. However, at this moment, he also sighed inwardly. Fortunately, today he awakened the system and obtained the power of the Eight Gates of Duanjia. Otherwise it may be difficult for him to deal with this sea king with a body size of more than 10 meters based solely on his physical skills cultivated in recent years. 03 The frog has returned and gained three colors of dominance, seeking. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Coincidentally. Coincidentally. As Chen Mu's words fell, the nearby residents also surrounded the dead sea kings. They could clearly see that the two pointed teeth of the sea king were pulled out, and several terrifying holes appeared in the abdomen of the sea king. The entrance of the cave was dripping with blood, and even blood flowed out, making it look very permeable. The abdomen of the sea king has a noticeable wound, and even from the location of the wound, one can see the person opposite and the abdomen has been completely punctured. Many people took a deep breath upon seeing this wound and looked at Chen Mu in disbelief. But you're still alive, that's really great, the man patted Chen Mu's shoulder and smiled. It's not really his fault for abandoning Chen Mu and running away, but because he lacks the ability to help Chen Mu escape death. In that situation, he could only leave Chen Mu alone. It's just good luck, Chen Mu said lightly. After the words fell, Chen Mu scanned the people around him and continued speaking. Is anyone interested in purchasing this sea king fish? However, I've already agreed that I will cut off some of the meat from the sea king fish. Watching so many people gathered around him, Chen Mu also planned to sell this sea king fish right here. He believed that this sea king could be exchanged for a considerable amount of money, enough for him to live for several months without fishing. However, he has not tasted the taste of sea kings yet. Although ordinary fish can make him feel nauseous, the sea king is far from being comparable to ordinary fish. Chen Mu is still very interested in the taste of sea kings. I bid 300000 Bailey a man raised his hand and shouted. Although Chen Mu suggested cutting off a portion of the meat from the sea king, he still chose to make a bid to purchase it. Because it was his first time seeing such a huge sea king, he was very interested in it, and similarly it's also to get close to Chen Mutao. 500000 Bailey, I'll buy it. As his words fell, someone offered a higher price to buy this sea king type. 5. 500,000 bellies. Is a fish worth 500,000 bellies? An ordinary resident beside him said in surprise. 
500000 Bailey is not a small sum, he only knows that sea king meat is very expensive. But I didn't expect that a sea king could reach up to 500,000 bellies. Do you think this is an ordinary small fish or shrimp? This is a sea king species with a body length of more than 10 meters, and its value is not high, the knowledgeable person on the side reminded. If it were ordinary fish, it would not be possible to sell them for such high value, but the sea king species are different, especially the sea king species with huge bodies, which have even higher value. 650000 Bailey 700000 Baileys After everyone's bidding, the final transaction price for this sea king is 1.1 million bileals. In the old days, this was a considerable amount of money. Is 1 million Pele worth so much? How about we also catch the sea king species and get rich in the future? A man was tempted when he saw the high transaction volume of the sea king species. Just you. Let's forget about it. Sea kings are very dangerous, and many sea kings live in groups. Just your small physique, ten are not enough for a sea king to fill his teeth, the man on the other side struck. Although it's dangerous, since Chen Mu can handle it, we probably can too. Chen Mu, who had been with them for several years, killed over ten meters of sea kings alone. So he couldn't help but feel a sense of confidence rising in his heart, believing that as long as he found more people, he could also hunt for sea kings. After listening to his words, many people who understand the sea king class shook their heads slightly. Sea kings are not so easy to kill. Chen Mu was able to kill the sea king completely because he was too strong. As for the price of one million belly, even Chen Mu was somewhat surprised by such a high price. Let him live on this island for more than a year without having to work. In the end, the fish was successfully sold to a businessman, and according to the previously agreed terms, Chen Mu cut off a portion of the meat. Without looking back, he rushed towards the position of the back mountain, carefully pondering the system and starting to practice. After finishing all of this, Chen Mu returned to the back mountain as usual. Chen Mu opened the travel frog system. Ding, the traveling frog is ready. Do you want it to go on a trip? The sound of the system came again. It has to be said that the sound of the system made Chen Mu feel a sense of peace of mind involuntarily. Okay. Chen Mu once again dispatched the traveling frog to travel, bringing back the power of the eight gates Duanjia on his first trip. I don't know what I will bring back for my next trip. By the way, before you said that the level of the traveling frog was low, so it takes a long time to travel. So, what is the way to increase the level of the traveling frog? Chen Mu suddenly thought of what the system had said recently and asked. Although on the first day of awakening the system, he gained the power of the eight gates of Duanjia. But all of this can be attributed to the newbie gift package given by the system. There is only one beginner gift pack, which means you can no longer obtain acceleration cards to speed up the frog's journey. Next, he wants to wait for the frog to travel back, at least for a few months, if the situation gets worse. Eleven months is not impossible either. Although Chin Mu has patience to wait if it takes less time, wouldn't it be better? If you want to level up the traveling frog, you can use the devil fruit to level up. Devil's Fruit After hearing the answer, Chen Mu felt a little worried. Devil's fruit is a rare thing in this sea, although consuming it can turn into a dry duck. But after consumption, one will gain the ability to surpass miracles. Even if one becomes a dry duck, there are still countless strong ones who want to obtain the devil's fruit. Even if it is not for consumption, it can be sold. You should know that the market price of devil's fruit is extremely high. At least 100 million bailey is needed. And it still has a price but no market. And some special devil fruits are even more expensive. For example, the surgical fruit in the original work reached 5 billion belly. This is enough to prove the preciousness of the devil's fruit. Now to level up the frog, you need to use devil fruit to level up. I have to say this is a difficult problem. 
Is it necessary to set sail now? I have been on this island for several years now, and it won't be long before I leave. Continuing to stay on this island, there is no doubt that it is impossible to encounter Devil's Fruit. If he wants to find the Devil's Fruit, he can only embark on an adventure on the sea. If you were to say where, the most likely place to encounter Devil's Fruit would be the Rock's Pirates. Chen Mu held his chin in his hand and pondered. The Rock's Pirates are one of the most powerful pirate groups in the New World, and all the pirates on this ship are from all over the world. And Lox is full of ambition, not only fearless of the navy, but also directly provoking world governments. If they boarded this ship, there is no doubt that all the places they plundered were rich and oily countries. It is most likely to find the devil's fruit in this place. Chen Mu, a member of the Rock's Pirates, is well aware that this ship is extremely dangerous. After boarding the ship, not only are you facing enemies, but also the people on your own ship. Killing between crew members on the Rock's Pirates ship has long been commonplace. However, even so, Chen Mu decided to board this ship. After all, the probability of searching for the Devil's Fruit alone on the sea is extremely small. On the ship of the Rock's Pirates, the probability of finding it greatly increased. Although full of danger, the same it's also full of opportunities. For Chen Mu, the benefits of joining the Rock's Pirates outweigh the harm. At this moment, Chen Mu already has the idea of joining the Rock's Pirates. However, he was not in a hurry to set sail to search for the Rock's Pirates. But instead, he continued to exercise his physical skills and began to ponder the power of the Eight Gates of Duanjia. He now has the idea of joining the Rock's Pirates. But he only has ideas, he needs to wait until he is strong enough before making specific decisions. Chen Mu, who was full of energy, trained directly from noon on the first day to morning on the second day. He can now flexibly utilize the power of the Eight Gates Duanjia. However, at present, he can only open the third door of Eight Duanjia at most. The fourth door cannot be opened with his current strength. To open the remaining doors, one must wait for his strength to increase before they can be opened. After practicing for a day and a night, just as Chin Mu was about to go eat and rest, a voice came to his mind. Ding, congratulations to the host. The frog has successfully traveled. Please pay attention to the rewards brought back by the frog. Did the trip succeed? Upon hearing the words from the system in his mind, Chen Mu froze in place. Isn't it true that frog travel time won't exceed a year, at least a few months? How come only one day and one night have passed now, and the frog has successfully traveled again? You should know that the accelerator card for opening the beginner gift pack has already been used. Because only one sheet. It has been used to accelerate the journey of Naruto world and receive rewards for 8 Duanjia. Why now? Although Chen Mu was very surprised, he still clicked to claim it. I want to know what the frog brought back this time. Ding, congratulations to the host. You have obtained the armed color dominance, heard the color dominance, and the color dominance. Ding, the system prompts that the frog's trip is in this world, so the journey is short. After listening to the system's explanation, Chen Mu also understood the meaning behind it. Frogs can travel all over the world, of course the world of pirates also belongs to one of the 10,000 realms. So frogs can also travel in this world. Due to the fact that traveling in this world does not require crossing the heavens, the journey is extremely brief. It only took one day and one night to complete the journey. Is the three colors domineering? Although there are many people who master these powers like carp crossing the river in the new world, for me, they are still an indispensable power. Chen Mu has been practicing the tricolor dominance for several years, but there has been no progress. The reason for this is that he has no idea how to practice. For the cultivation direction of tricolor dominance, it is almost a blank sheet of paper. However he had previously sought help from passers-by on the island to cultivate his aura of seeing, hearing, and color. Practice dodging, but there was no progress after training continuously for a month. 
he decided not to continue pondering domineering. Continue to cultivate physical skills as usual. Zero four matches the talent of the top strong, seeking flowers. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Although standing from the perspective of God, Chen Mu has seen countless times in the anime that the strong use their dominance to fight. However this is only viewed from a third perspective. He has not yet used the specific power and practicality of the three-color dominance. Try its power. Chen Mu's heart twitched as black paint wrapped around his fist and half of his arm. These black pigments are the ultimate weapon colors. After covering the arms with armed colors, both attack and defense will be greatly improved. After wrapping around the armed color, Chen Mu could clearly feel the powerful power conveyed by his arms. Bang! Chen Mu approached an ancient tree that was four or five meters thick, clenched his fists, and forcefully punched the tree. As the fist landed on the ancient tree, there was a loud bang and a slight shaking could be felt on the ground. And the leaves on the ancient tree fell like rain. Kaka. Trees about four or five meters thick were not directly knocked down by Chinmu, but a large number of cracks appeared on the surface of the trees. And where Chinmu's fist swung, a hole about one or two meters deep appeared. After covering the armor color with domineering aura, Chen Mu was already satisfied with the ability to unleash such power. You should know that he only entangled himself with the dominance of the armed color, and did not unlock the power of the eight gates of escaping armor. If you open the eight gates of Duanjia, just open the first gate and you can easily knock down the trees. And the three gates, let alone the three gates, can not only knock them down, but also crush them. The practicality of armed color dominance is still high. Next, try the domineering and domineering color. The domineering color and aura are very rare abilities in this world. Only one person appears among every 100,000 people, possessing the potential to awaken the dominance of the dominant color. It can be said that having a domineering and domineering demeanor means possessing the qualifications of a king. Chen Mu's mind twitched, and an unparalleled pressure spread rapidly around him. Directly surrounding an area of tens of meters, all the animals in this area felt the momentum and fell to the ground dizzy. Wow! The terrifying crushing is not only effective on animals, but also on surrounding plants. It's like a storm. It's arrogant, and roars past. Countless trees sway with the wind. The towering ancient tree in front of Chen Mu did not shake, but all the leaves on top of the tree had already fallen to the ground. The practicality of being domineering and domineering is still very high. During battles, you don't need to use your hands to deal with miscellaneous soldiers. Armed and domineering colors, after inspection, satisfied Chen Mu very much. As for the dominance of seeing and hearing, there are currently no good experimental subjects. So he couldn't test it anymore. Overall, Mastering the dominance of the three colors has significantly improved Chen Mu's strength once again. Chen Mu once again sent frogs on a trip. After finishing the meal, I continued to practice. Because a few days ago, a sea king fish that was over 10 meters long was caught, Chen Mu doesn't need to work now. I practice diligently every day. The previous morning time was used for fishing work. But now, in the morning time, Chen Mu is used to cultivate the three-colored dominance. He had practiced for a long time before and did not reach the threshold of the three-color dominance. That's because there was a slight deviation in his direction, and it was precisely because of this small deviation that he made no progress in his cultivation of the three-color dominance. But now, because the system rewards tricolor dominance. The domineering way of cultivation has already penetrated into his mind. Now he is very clear on how to cultivate the three-colored dominance and how to unleash stronger power. Practice domineering energy in the morning. In the afternoon, it is used to cultivate the power of the eight gates of Duanjia. The power of Ba Men Dunjia comes from the world of Naruto, and in that world, the principle of opening Ba Men Dunjia is by unlocking the channels that bind chakra within the human body, one can temporarily gain powerful power. 
But in this world, one does not practice chakra. So opening the eight dun armors in this world is a way to unlock the limits of the human body and temporarily gain powerful power. Every time Chen Mu unlocks the first level eight door duanjia, his physical fitness will also be enhanced. After all, breaking through the eight duanjia in this world is equivalent to breaking through the limits of the body to gain strength. The limit of the body has been exceeded, and naturally, the physical fitness that has been broken through will not disappear due to the recovery of the power of the Eight Gates Duanjia. Practicing the Eight Gates of Duanjia, Chen Mu's physical skills and physique will be greatly enhanced. Of course after opening the Eight Gates of Duanjia, his power will become even more terrifying. The cultivation method of Ba Men Dunjia was already deeply ingrained in his mind when the system gave him the ability. He knows how to cultivate the Eight Gates of Duanjia. In the morning, cultivate domineering energy, and in the afternoon, cultivate eight hidden armor. This is Chen Mu's daily routine, almost no rest. It must be mentioned here that after the self-awakening system, Chen Mu's talent has also changed. The talent for cultivation is much stronger than that of ordinary people. Even some of the top talents in this world are not as talented as him. Kneeling for flowers, kneeling for flowers. The Four Emperors of the Future, Edward Newgate, Seeking. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Just like this, several months have passed. Chen Mu's three-color dominance has already reached the second stage, while the Eight Gates Duanjia can now open the fourth gate. To say why Chen Mu's three-color domineering cultivation is so fast, it is because the way of cultivation deeply penetrates his mind. There is no slightest mistake in the process of cultivation. Combined with unparalleled talent, Chen Mu quickly mastered the dominance of the second stage. It's also time to leave this island. Chen Mu stood on a small boat by the coast, looking at the island behind him and muttering to himself. Now he has achieved a qualitative improvement in strength. Now he is fully qualified to stay on Rox's ship. Chen Mu didn't pay much attention to this island and sailed away from the place where he had lived for several years. However due to the vastness of the new world. And his sailing skills are not advanced, and he doesn't know the specific location of the Lox pirates. I can only travel aimlessly on the sea, and then after arriving at an island, I will inquire about the news about the Rox pirates. Finally, in a certain country, I heard that in a place called Frisian Island, Rox was preparing a recruitment ceremony for interns. He was not sure exactly where the Frisian island was, so he sold his own boat. Riding on a ship bound for Frisian island. Anyway, he has already decided to join the Rox pirates, and he knows he can definitely join. So that small boat doesn't matter anymore. And everyone on this ship set sail to join the Rox pirates. At this moment, most of the pirates on the ship were boasting about their heroic deeds. And Chen Mugong, after training from the house, lay on the railing of the boat. Although he has been searching for the rocks pirates during this period. But my own training was not delayed at all. It's been several months now, but the frog hasn't come back yet. Chen Mu looked at his system and said helplessly. It has been several months since the last time the frog brought back tricolor dominance. During these times, the frog remained motionless and did not bring anything back. If it weren't for Chen Mu's daily questioning of the system to confirm that it was still there. Otherwise, he would think that the frog had already died in a foreign land. Here we are, here we are. The Frisian island is ahead. A pirate shouted excitedly. After hearing the sound, Chen Mu also slowly lifted his head. At the end of the horizon near the island, a ship was docked, incredibly large, like a battleship. This ship is exactly the ship of the rocks pirates. Compared to that, the ship Chen Mu is currently on is like an ant. Ha ha ha. I will definitely join the rocks pirates this time. You bastards, just wait for me to cross the sea. Che, you also want to join the rogue pirates. Dream it it should be Uncle Ben who joined the rogue pirates. At that time, it depends on who has the ability to join the rocks pirates. Those who can join must have me. 
As they approached Frisian Island, many pirates began to excitedly discuss. Everyone is eager to join the rocks pirates. However Chin Mu did not join this discussion, nor did he want to join. Because from the perspective of God, Chen Mu is very clear about the situation of the rocks pirates. Even if one can join the rocks pirates, without strength, they are still at the mercy of others. The members of the rocks pirates are ruthless towards their enemies and equally ruthless towards themselves. It is common for companions to stab each other in the back and kill each other. If it weren't for the convenience of finding demon fruits, upgrading the frog's level, and accelerating the acquisition of new abilities. To be honest, Chen Mu is really not interested in the rocks pirates. In less than a moment, the ship had arrived at the Frisian island. Everyone disembarked from the ship and arrived on the island. At this moment, there are already many pirates staying on the island. As the recruitment ceremony had not yet begun, these pirates stayed quietly in place. Even started talking to each other. Chen Mu could imagine that when the recruitment ceremony for the rocks pirates began, these people would stab each other with knives. Look, that's Edward Newgate, a cadre of the rocks pirates. And the weapon in his hand is the most powerful weapon in this sea, the supreme fast sword. I heard his strength ranks first in the entire rocks pirates. 06 Edward, who are you pressuring? Seeking fresh flowers. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After arriving at the island, as recruitment had not yet begun, several pirates began to discuss. After hearing the voices of several people discussing, Chen Mu also turned his gaze to the railing of the rocks pirates. I saw a burly blonde man standing in front of the boat holding a clump of clouds. From a distance, one can feel the terrifying pressure. This man is one of the future four emperors, white-bearded Edward Newgate. And his seismic fruit, also known as having the power to destroy the world in the future. In addition to Whitebeard, the Rocks Pirates also have many other strong players. Just the future four emperors, there are three. Whitebeard, Charlotte Lingling, and Kaido. The legendary pirate has a place for the Golden Lion. The great pirate is the Silver Axe, John, and Wang Ji. These people were mentioned in the original work, but I believe there are other powerful members of the Rocks Pirates. Chen Mu and others waited on the island for a while, and then several ships of pirates arrived on the island. On one of the ships, Chen Mu saw a familiar figure. That's Kaido. The current Kaido, although looking very robust, is like a small shrimp compared to the future. At this moment, Kai Duo was full of energy, carrying a wolf-toothed stick on his shoulder and bare arms. However, there were not many scars on his body, and he looked very smooth, completely different from his future appearance with scars all over his body. The current Kaido is still in the growth stage, but in the future, he will grow into the fourth emperor who is on par with the fourth emperor's white beard. As Chen Mu glanced at Kai Duo, a loud shout suddenly came from the Lox ship. Let's get started, our Rocks Pirates team only admits 15 interns this time, which means that only 20 people can live on this island. The speaker was the Golden Lion, holding his hands on his chest and holding the standard cigar in his mouth. Due to Lox being too lazy to speak up, he asked the Golden Lion to help deliver the message. At this time, the Golden Lion was quite young, with blonde hair and no rudder on its head. At this time, he is also in the growth stage, but his strength has already grown to a certain extent. Shua. As Chen Mu was pondering about the golden lion, a pirate suddenly struck him with a knife. Chen Mu exerted his aura and predicted the actions of the pirate, and then punched him with a powerful brute force, piercing through it. After Chen Mu killed the pirate, his gaze turned to the island, roughly estimating that there were hundreds of pirates on the island. Only 20 meters can finally enter the Locks pirates. It has to be said that this is a very cruel selection. Moreover, joining the Rocks pirates does not necessarily mean having peace of mind. The survival of the Rocks pirates is extremely bad. Especially for newly joined interns. Cruel chaos broke out on the island, 
and the people on the ship of the rocks pirates watched with great interest. As usual, turn on the pressure. A cadre grinned and suggested. Every time there is an internship selection, they always suppress Bailey. Bet who will hold out until the end and join their rocks pirates team as an intern. As his words fell, others quickly placed bets on their desired partner. I'll hold on to that pirate until the end, 10 million Baileys. Charlotte Lingling smiled and took out a stack of Baileys, then pointed her finger at Kaido. He doesn't know Kaido's name now, although Kaido is also a pirate with a bounty. However the cadres of the rocks pirates do not even pay attention to such small people. They read newspapers and news, and only know how to read big news and bounty money from other big pirates. If you want to say why he is suppressing Kaido, it is because Kaido has a strong performance in this chaotic battle. Holding a wolf-toothed stick, he fiercely killed in all directions, and at this moment, his whole body was covered in blood. Apart from Charlotte Lingling, many people are also betting on their favorite partners. If that's the case, then I'll hold on until the end with 50 million baileys from Kodo. Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada slowly stepped forward and took out 50 million baileys to suppress this person. The Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada was the former imitator of the fruit ability, and in the future, it was he who instilled hatred in the Black Charcoal Snake, encouraged it to seek revenge, taught it the step dot by dot step method of seizing the land of peace, and gave it the devil fruit. He is currently in the Rocks Pirates, not a cadre, but a think tank. In the Rocks Pirates, responsible for providing advice and strategies. He is different from other proud cadres, always paying attention to the big and small things in this sea. He will also pay attention to all the pirates with a bounty of over 10 million Pele in this sea. He observed when the pirates landed on the island. After his careful observation, he determined that the pirate with the highest bounty on the entire island was Kaido, with a bounty of up to 80 million belly. But the reason he didn't bet on Kaido was because Kaido had already been taken one step ahead by Charlotte Lingling. In this betting game they are holding, only one person can be bet. Since Kaiduo was bet by Charlotte Lingling first, she will bet on Kodo. Kodo is the second highest bounty offered in this recruitment ceremony for interns. The bounty is 40 million Bailey. Although Kodo's bounty is twice as low as Kaido's, he is the highest besides Kaido. If nothing unexpected happens, the strength should only be below Kai Duo. There is no doubt that such a strong person can hold on until the end. Is it 50 million Bailey? It's really a big move. I haven't seen you participate before, so I think I'm fully prepared to participate this time. The Golden Lion took a deep breath of smoke and glanced at the Black Charcoal Cicada, saying. The Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada is definitely one of the smartest people in their Rocks Pirates group. Almost never doing anything with confidence, if one dares to suppress it now, then there is a possibility that this person will hold on until the end. You don't usually look at the bounty from the bottom pirates, so I don't know. This guy is worth 40 million Bailey, so. He can definitely hold on until the end, said Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada with a strange smile. Participating in the suppression of Bailey, although the returns are high, the risks are also high. The Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada only decided to participate this time, so she gave her reasons for daring to suppress it. Even if she doesn't say it herself, these cadres will definitely pay attention and guess. After all, Someone like her who participated in suppressing Bailey will definitely be investigated by other officials. Instead of being investigated by others, it's better to give reasons for daring to suppress now. I believe that after this incident, the recruitment ceremony for interns will be held in the future. Other officials will also decide to bet on the bounty offered by the bottom-level pirates. Is there a reward of 40 million Bailey? No wonder you dare to press it with such a big hand, Silver Axe snorted coldly. The pirate with a bounty of 40 million Bailey is not a big deal in their Rocks Pirates group, but among the people on the island, this is the second highest bounty. Have you seen their bounty? This is really despicable behavior, said a cadre coldly. 
To be honest, these cadres never thought they could do this again. It's not that they're stupid. But it's because they really disdain to see the bounty from the bottom pirates. Just because you guys don't pay attention to the bounty of the pirate doesn't mean I can't pay attention, Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada frowned and retorted. Although she is not a cadre, as a think tank of the rocks pirates, she is close to rocks. So even cadres dare not take her for granted. Have you figured out who you want to crush, Edward? The Golden Lion glanced at Whitebeard, who was watching the battlefield, and asked. Whitebeard did not respond to him, but instead turned his gaze to Chin Mu on the battlefield, because Chin Mu had good performance and had already killed many pirates. Just crush that kid, five million Bailey, by Beard pointed at Chin Mu and said. When he looked at Chin Mu, he always had a premonition that he could hold on until the end. Even if Chin Mu didn't hold on until the end, it doesn't matter, it's just five million Bailey. For cadres like him, five million Bailey is not much either. The kid you suppressed looks very ordinary, you have to think carefully, Edward. Faced with the inquiry from the Golden Lion, Whitebeard did not respond. Instead, he crossed his hands and continued to monitor the battlefield. You guy. Faced with Whitebeard's disregard, the Golden Lion didn't get angry, but spread out his hand. In just a moment, all the cadres, as well as many formal crew members, pressed their respective candidates. Next, it depends on who they are pushing and can hold on until the end. Little brother kneels and begs for flowers. The pirate with the second highest reward in 07 was caught by Chin Mu. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. At this moment, amidst the chaos on the island, Kodo, Chen Mu, and Kai Duo are among the most outstanding performers. After all, Kodo is a great pirate with a bounty of 40 million Bailey. At this moment, Kaido was full of energy, holding a wolf tooth stick as if entering an uninhabited realm, hammering whoever he saw. And Chen Mu, without further ado, proficiently mastered the fourth door of the eight gates of escaping armor, as well as the tricolor dominance, all breaking through to the second stage. The several gates in front of the eight gates Duanjia are relatively easy to open. I think it will take more time to open the back few doors. Shua. Amidst the chaos on the island, Chen Mu suddenly felt a slashing force that shot straight into the sky. Although the speed of the slashing was very fast, he easily avoided it due to his strong aura. After dodging the attack, he turned his gaze to the person wielding the knife. The one wielding the knife was Kordo, who offered a reward of 40 million Bailey. Kodo didn't speak, but grinned and quickly charged towards him with a famous knife in his hand. Shua. With a flick of the sword, a loud roar came from the air, and a sharp sword energy rushed towards Chen Mu at an extremely fast speed. When Chen Mu's face froze, and a layer of armed aura wrapped around his arms. He pressed his hands in front of him to block the attack. Go to hell. At this moment, Kodo had already arrived in front of him, shouting loudly, and was about to swing a knife to kill Chen Mu. Eight gates of escaping armor, second gate, rest gate, open, third gate, life gate, open. Before the blade of Kodo could be swung, Chen Mu opened the third door directly. You should know that in this battle, Chen Mu has always been in the state of opening the first door. However, through Kodo's slashing, he could feel that the person in front of him was very strong. After opening the third door, Chen Mu's attack speed increased several times more. He clenched his fists, wrapped them in an armed aura, and then threw a punch. Bang! A deafening sound came, and Kodo's body flew out like a ball, colliding with a large number of pirates along the way. Finally falling to the ground, losing breath. At this moment, everyone in the Lox Pirates group who was leisurely watching the game was slightly surprised. Especially the black charcoal cicada, he always keeps his gaze on Kodo. When Kodo challenged Chen Mu, he thought this battle will end soon. But in fact, this battle did end quickly. Chen Mu punched through Kodo's abdomen and killed him directly. However what she wants to see is not such an ending. Kodo is a pirate with a bounty of 40 million yuan, 
among the group of pirates participating in the recruitment ceremony. Without a doubt, it is extremely strong. And Chen Mu is a pirate who doesn't even have a bounty. Why could he kill Kodo so easily? Damn it, my fifty million bailey. Black Charcoal Cicada stared at Chen Mu with red eyes. He only intended to participate in this money squeeze, and even put a full fifty million dollar squeeze on Bailey. But now Kodo has lost. That means his fifty million Bailey is gone. Ha ha ha. It seems that after paying attention to the bounty order of these pirates, betting on this method is not working. Silver Axe mocked Black Charcoal Cicada after seeing that Kudwa was killed by Chin Mu in a flash. Making a big bet, it's a huge loss, Mu Chan, a cadre couldn't help but laugh. Fifty million belly is not a small sum of money for their cadres. And the Black Charcoal Cicada is not a cadre of the Rocks Pirates. But rather a think tank. And every time their rocks pirate group plunders, the money they receive is naturally not as much as their cadres. Believe 50 million Bailey, it's enough to make her bleed profusely. You. Black Charcoal Cicada herself was already extremely angry, and now these cadres continue to mock, which makes her feel the urge to vomit blood. However, she dare not vent her anger of losing money on these cadres. Although she is a popular figure around locks, she still dares not provoke officials. You lost money, it's not our fault. We can only blame you for crushing the wrong person, Wang Ji said with a mocking smile. That's right, that's right, it's not us forcing you to bet, why are you staring at us with such eyes? A cadre met the murderous gaze of the black charcoal cicada, without concealing the excitement of falling into the well. But on the other hand, how much is the bounty this guy offered? Surprisingly, he gave the person with a bounty of 40 million bailey a second. At this moment, a cadre asked Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada with some confusion. Before the recruitment ceremony for interns, Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada observed all the pirates and ultimately chose to bet on Kodo, who offered a bounty of 40 million bailey. The cadre was wondering if the black charcoal twilight cicada had not noticed Chen Mu's presence, which is why they took Kuduo. If Chen Mu can give Kodo a second, then his bounty will be it should be far more than Kodo's. This cadre is slightly curious about how much Chen Mu's bounty is. Ordinary pirates, their officials are not interested, but if Chen Mu's bounty exceeds 100 million yuan, they will more or less I still have some interest. This guy, there's no bounty. Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada frowned and stared at Chen Mu with a fierce expression on her face. She paid attention to the bounty for the entire new world in her spare time. Whether it's as low as 100000 baileys or as high as over 100 million baileys on the bounty list, there is no appearance of Chen Mu. That is to say, Chen Mu doesn't have any bounty yet. There is no bounty. Several officials around were slightly stunned when they heard this sentence. A newcomer without a bounty gave a pirate with 40 million Pele in seconds. Who would believe such a thing if it were spoken out? Even if they saw it with their own eyes, Chen Mu gave Kodo a second. But when they heard the black charcoal cicada say that Chen Mu did not offer a bounty, they still didn't believe it. Are you old-eyed, Dushan? At least the bounty for this guy is over 100 million, how could there be no bounty? Wang Ji coldly glanced at Black Charcoal Dushan and retorted. Many times, bounty money represents strength. They don't believe that Chen Mu's strength has reached the point where he can instantly kill Kodo with just one punch, and there is no bounty. Fortunately, you are still the brain of our Lox Pirates team. No matter how you read a bounty, you can't understand it. Pirates with bounties exceeding 100 million can be overlooked by you. You deserve to lose this bet, Silver Axe said sarcastically. Anyway, they don't believe that Chen Mu doesn't have a bounty. According to Chen Mu's demonstrated strength, at least there is a reward of over 100 million yuan. The current Silver Axe can only be regarded as a black charcoal cicada. It missed Chen Mu's reward order and used it to throw stones into the well mocking him. You. 
The black charcoal cicada stared at the silver axe with bulging veins on her forehead, naturally making her uncomfortable with the other person's mocking words. But she didn't dare to vent her anger on silver axe either. But he turned his gaze to Chin Mu. You bastard who emerged out of thin air, let you disappear from this world today. The black charcoal twilight cicada's face darkened to the extreme and she muttered to herself. As this sentence surfaced in her heart, she quickly left the ship, ready to retaliate against Chin Mu. If Chin Mu didn't appear, Kudwa I will definitely be one of the interns. And the 50 million bailey she bet on will undoubtedly make a big profit. But now not only has she not made a big profit, but she has also lost 50 million bailey. Not only that, she also has to face ridicule from other cadres and be targeted. This is unbearable for her. When the cadres didn't notice her, she quietly left the ship. The person you are suppressing looks very strong. If nothing unexpected happens, it can last until the end, Edward. The officials who were discussing next to you quieted down, and at this moment, the golden lion lit a cigar and said leisurely. Kodo, who offered a reward of 40 million bailey, was nothing among the talented rocks pirates. But Chen Mu can kill a powerful man with a bounty of 40 million pele with just one punch. Even the golden lion is somewhat surprised by such strength. At first glance, Chen Mu's strength is at least at the level of a bounty of over 100 million yuan. An intern with the level of offering a reward of over a billion pirates is also a decent presence. There is no doubt that he will have a place in this internship recruitment. On the other hand, those who bet on the Golden Lion have already been killed in the chaos. That means he's going to lose money. He's really an interesting guy, his strength is a bit beyond my imagination, by beard picked up the wine gourd in his hand and took a big sip of the fine wine, grinning. He just saw that Chen Mu's performance was good, but unexpectedly, Chen Mu's strength could instantly kill a pirate with a bounty of 40 million bailey. It can only be said that he has crushed the treasure. I said, we've known each other for so long. If we win this time, wouldn't you treat me to a drink? The golden lion put his shoulder on the white-bearded shoulder and smiled. He lost money, but there is no doubt that Whitebeard will make a profit from this bet. The golden lion wants to take advantage of this and rub some wine on Whitebeard's side. When you won, you didn't treat me to a drink, Shirji, by beard glanced at Shirji and said lightly. Although the two have known each other on the ship for a long time, Whitebeard has almost no interest in making friends with the people on this ship. And the reason why he joined the Rocks Pirates is for various purposes. In his eyes, the Rocks Pirates were just one of the ships that carried his life a suitable place for training. For this purpose, he did not have the idea of in-depth communication with the pirates on board who liked to kill their companions. I also want to treat you to a drink, but the key is that I won, and you didn't ask me to treat you to a drink. The golden lion showed a very helpless expression, spread out his hands, and continued to shamelessly ask for a drink from the white-bearded man. On the island, the chaotic war is still ongoing. I saw a man stepping into this chaotic battle from the edge of the island. He is not the person who participated in the recruitment ceremony of the Rocks Pirates. But it's the think tank of the Rocks Pirates, the Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada. Why is she here? That's because she paid a full 50 million bailey on this bet. She couldn't swallow this breath, so she used the imitation fruit to transform into a man and infiltrate the battle. I want to kill Chin Mu. Although she is not a cadre, she anyway, she has also joined the Rocks Pirates for a long time. The bounty is over 100 million yuan, with two colors of dominance and impressive physical skills. You bastard. Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada stared fiercely at Chin Mu on the battlefield. 08 Chin Mu vs Black Charcoal Cicada, Seeking Flowers. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The black charcoal evening cicada's footsteps were fast, and after noticing Chin Mu, it approached as quickly as possible. She comes from the country of Harmony, so she is a skilled swordsman. Go to hell, you bastard. 
The speed of the black charcoal cicada is extremely fast, much faster than that of the other species. She clenched her sword tightly in both hands, with a murderous intent in her eyes, and fiercely swung towards Chen Mu. Shua. As Ming Dao was about to strike Chen Mu, Chen Mu had already reacted and quickly dodged her attack. The famous knife struck towards the ground, instantly creating a deep chasm and creating a gust of wind and sand. Chen Mu stared solemnly at the black charcoal cicada, his gaze slightly glancing towards the ground where he had just stood. It can be seen that the gap is deep and bottomless, and this alone is enough to prove the strength of the black charcoal twilight cicada. Although they both use swords, Kodo's strength is completely incomparable to that of the black charcoal twilight cicada. Did you actually dodge it? Black charcoal twilight cicada was slightly surprised, but the next second, her face became gloomy again. Faced with Chen Mu, who cost her 50 million bailey, she now only holds the determination to make him die. The rocks pirates are really dangerous, and even the recruitment ceremony cannot relax our vigilance, Chen Mu said coldly as he stared at him. This sentence is a disguised praise of the black charcoal twilight cicada. You should know that after defeating Kedwa, Chen Mu did not close the third door of the eight Duanjiao, but continued to flash kill others in this state. In this state, he almost avoided the attack of the black charcoal twilight cicada, which is enough to prove the danger of the black charcoal twilight cicada. Although you have some strength, unfortunately, you have no future left. In the eyes of the black charcoal twilight cicada, Chen Mu still looks very young now, and if he could join the rocks pirates, there is no doubt that he has a considerable future. However unfortunately, Chen Mu has already offended her. So it's impossible for her to let Chen Mu join the rocks pirates and kill him here. If I have a future, it's not you're the final say, and. You can't decide my future. Chen Mu tightened his eyebrows and calmly said. You should know that he only awakened to this world a few months ago, a system that no one has. His future is full of light, how could it be like what Black Charcoal Cicada said, without a future? Is that right? With my strength, I can easily kill you. Black Charcoal Muchan snorted coldly. She is in the Rock's Pirates team, although not a cadre, her strength is by no means comparable to that of an intern. In her eyes, Chen Mu's strength is at the level of an intern. So she doesn't take Chen Mu very seriously. Really? Then you can give it a try. Chen Mu's face turned cold as he prepared for the battle. In the past few months of cultivation, his physique has already surpassed the mundane and achieved the general improvement. Open the eight Dun armor gates, and after the third gate, all enemies will take one move per second. He is now very interested in the strength of black charcoal cicada and wants to know if the other party can force him to open the fourth door. Don't underestimate me, little devil. Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada said with a somewhat sinister expression. He is a formidable member of the Rocks Pirates, but now he has been defeated by someone who has not yet joined the Rocks Pirates. People who are not even interns underestimate her, which naturally makes her angry. Chen Mu has some strength, but what does such strength count in front of her? Shua 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 The Black Charcoal Cicada stood in place and swung three knives at Chen Mu in a row. The swift slash, like a gust of wind, pierced through the air and made a loud roar, charging towards Chen Mu with a terrifying aura, causing waves of sandstorms along the way. Many pirates who were fighting around felt the slash and hid far away. After all, their purpose in this battle was only to become interns for the rocks pirates. And the strength of black charcoal cicada far exceeds that of interns, even surpassing that of regular crew members. This level of battle is naturally not something that these pirates who want to become interns can afford. Chen Mu exerted his aura of seeing and hearing, and dodged the attack of the black charcoal twilight cicada with a strange angle and speed. But the black charcoal twilight cicada did not give up and continued to launch an attack on Chen Mu. At this moment, on the ship of the rocks pirates. Speaking of this guy's swordsmanship, it feels a bit familiar, said Wang Ji, 
staring at the black charcoal twilight cicada with some confusion on the ship of the rocks pirates. Wang Ji is also a skilled swordsman, so he is very sensitive to swordsmanship. Through the swordsmanship and slashing of the black charcoal cicada, he felt somewhat familiar, but for a moment he couldn't recall seeing it there. This person is the black charcoal twilight cicada. The golden lion squinted his eyes slightly and carefully looked at the black charcoal twilight cicada, saying, Although the black charcoal cicada has changed its appearance by imitating the fruit. But swordsmanship is not deceitful. The golden lion is a famous swordsman in this vast sea, and his swordsmanship is naturally superior to that of Wang Ji, making him more sensitive to swordsmanship. Through a brief observation, he determined that it was the mastermind of the Lox pirates who fought against Chen Mu, the black charcoal twilight cicada. Ha ha ha. Muchan has lost money. Do you want to seek revenge against that guy? A cadre burst into laughter upon hearing this. This is also true. If I lose 50 million Bailey, I'm not sure I'll just go down and kill that person. Another cadre stared at the corner of black charcoal cicada's mouth with a mocking smile, showing deep sympathy on the surface. Although this guy is very strong. No matter what, the reward offered by the twilight cicada is also over 100 million yuan. This newcomer may not be a match, Wang Ji expressed his opinion. Chen Mu's performance on the battlefield is indeed very prominent. But no matter what, Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada has also joined the Rocks Pirates for several years, and has participated in many battles of all sizes in these years. With a bounty of over 100 million yuan, it possesses considerable strength. No matter how strong Chen Mu is, he can only be considered a newcomer now. So if this battle continues, Black Charcoal Cicada has a good chance of killing Chen Mu. You're right, although the Twilight Cicada is just the brain of our rocks pirates. It's not something this guy can defeat, John pondered slightly and agreed. It seems that this interesting newcomer will be killed by the Twilight Cicada, said Silver Axe with a nonchalant expression. Although Chen Mu's strength is not weak, many cadres were slightly surprised and even showed some interest in him. But that doesn't mean they will be idle and stop this battle. On the contrary they are looking forward to the outcome of this battle. Chen Mu, who killed the bounty of 40 million Bailey pirates with just one punch, is even better off. The Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada, the think tank of their rocks pirates, will ultimately win. The cadre watching the battle thought. But they are more optimistic about Black Charcoal Cicada than Chen Mu. However, Edward, is that kid the one you're betting on? If he's killed by the Twilight Cicada, wouldn't you be considered a loser? The matter of buying me a drink will be gone. While watching the battle, the Golden Lion suddenly thought of something and glanced at his white beard, speaking out. When did I say I invited you to drink? White Beard raised his eyebrows slightly and asked as he stared at the Golden Lion. Although the Golden Lion has been trying to get close, he wants to invite him to drink after he wins. But he never agreed. Well, let's do it then. I'll take care of the cicada, and then you'll treat me to a drink. The golden lion grinned and pulled out two large sharp knives from his waist, proposing. Although the strength of the black charcoal twilight cicada is not weak, it is still not worth considering in the eyes of his golden lion. And within their rocks pirates group, there is no such thing as friendship. So if we can have Whitebeard treat him to a drink. Injured and offended the black charcoal cicada, the golden lion didn't care at all. No, Shuji, don't stop it for now. Keep watching, by who stopped the golden lion from wanting to take action and advised. When Bai Beard learned that the person fighting Chin Mu was the black charcoal cicada, he also had the intention to take action. However, Chin Mu did not seem to have a losing streak, but instead had a back and forth battle with the black charcoal twilight cicada. That's why Bai Hu Zi dispelled his desire to take action and also prevented the golden lion from interfering in this battle. After listening to White Beard's words, the golden lion slowly retracted its blade. Turning his gaze once again to Chen Mu, 
he also wanted to know who would ultimately win this battle. On the battlefield Chen Mu and Black Charcoal Cicada fought for a long time and remained deadlocked. Within a radius of several tens of meters, no pirate dared to stand around the two of them. Bang! Chen Mu's domineering fist wrapped around him struck the blade of the black charcoal twilight cicada. However, it was this punch that startled a strand of cold sweat from the forehead of the black charcoal twilight cicada. Although this punch only hit her sword, it did not hit him. But the impact from Chen Mu's fist shook her whole body through the blade of the sword. This made her arms feel a slight tingling. After this round of attack, both of them retreated backwards. Chen Mu's expression looked quite relaxed, because although Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada's strength was very strong. But now he has warmed up and fully entered a state of combat, becoming more and more brave in battle. So facing the attack of the Black Charcoal Cicada, he can easily cope with it. 098 Gates Escaping Armor, 4th Gate, Seeking Flowers You are listening at NovelFull.audio at this moment, the black charcoal cicada's face appeared very heavy. Chen Mu was able to defeat Kudwa, which surprised the black charcoal twilight cicada. However anyway, Kodo is just a pirate with a bounty of tens of millions. And she is a powerhouse with a bounty of over 100 million yuan. I thought she could easily kill Chen Mu with her own hands. But after several rounds of fighting, she felt even more powerless. Chen Mu's strength exceeded his imagination, completely lacking the expressive power that a pirate without a bounty could possess. Do you also have the ability to imitate fruits? Black Charcoal Cicada suddenly thought of something and stared at Chen Mu Mu in surprise. She can change her face and secretly come to the island to fight against Chen Mu by imitating the fruit's ability. So is Chen Mu the same? He was originally a pirate with a bounty of over 100 million yuan. However, in order to not be eye-dot catching, he used a similar ability to imitate fruits and changed his face to engage in combat. Imitating fruits. After hearing this keyword, Chen Mu was slightly taken aback. Having read the original work, he knew that the owner who imitated the fruit was Fong Kiliai, while the former owner was Black Charcoal Cicada. Based on the current timeline, it seems that Fong Cray has not yet been born. So that is to say, the former owner, the Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada, is now using imitation fruit. Thinking of this, Chen Mu looked carefully at the man in front of him. Sure enough, my chest is slightly undulating, it's a woman. Thinking of this, Chen Mu finally knew why the person in front of him had been able to fight against him for so long. Turns out to be the strong ones who have already joined the Rocks Pirates. Don't you want to answer? Anyway, no matter who you are, I won't let you go today. Seeing Chen Mu's unresponsive thoughts, Black Charcoal Cicada's face darkened and her murderous heart surged. Chen Mu made him lose a large amount of money, and today no matter what, she will not easily forgive Chen Mu. The Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada quickly adjusted its state, with a layer of incredibly black armed aura wrapped around its arms and blades. Kick it off. Her footsteps exerted force, leaving a deep footprint in place. With this momentum, she once again attacked Chen Mu. Her attack carries a strong killing intent, aiming to reach Chen Mu and the dead even though Chen Mu knew that the other party was a member of the Rock's Pirates, he still did not choose to be lenient. The Rock's Pirates are not like other pirate groups, where crew members are loyal and orderly. On this ship, it is a place where the law of the fittest prevails. Even though Chen Mu today is not a member of the Rock's Pirates, he is not even an intern. But if he had the ability to kill the Black Charcoal Cicada, I believe Lox wouldn't say much. After all, on this ship, it's not like Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada, who is such a wise person. Thinking of this, Chen Mu no longer retained his strength and was ready to fight with all his might. Eight gates of escaping armor, fourth gate, injury gate, open. The fourth gate of the eight gates done armor is the dangerous area of the eight gates done armor. Although it has greatly increased in speed and strength once again, there will be physical damage. 
this it is the setting of the original world to which the Eight Gates Duanjia belongs. But the Eight Gates Duanjia obtained by Qin Mu was enhanced through the system. Even if the door is open to eight, there is no harm to the body. Besides, it's just the fourth course. It is precisely because it will not cause harm to the body that Qin Mu dares to open the fourth door without restraint. After opening the fourth door, Chen Mu felt that the blood flow in his body was extremely smooth, as if he had opened the Ren and Du Meridians. Everything around me has slowed down, and this it is precisely because his speed has greatly increased. The speed of the black charcoal cicada is as fast as lightning. But in Chen Mu's eyes, it was extremely slow and full of loopholes. Pop! Chen Mu wrapped a layer of armed aura around his palm. Faced with the fierce attack of the black charcoal twilight cicada, he raised his hand and directly grasped the blade of the black charcoal twilight cicada with his palm. Fool! Seeing Chen Mu's arrogance, he caught his blade with his palm, and a sarcastic smile instantly appeared on black charcoal's face. Bomb! Although Chen Mu received the attack of the black charcoal cicada with his palm, the attack caused by the opponent's sword blade was not resolved. With only a loud bang, a terrifying shockwave appeared in the center of the two. The shockwave was like a semi-dot circular sphere, quickly enveloping the surroundings and blowing gusts of strong winds. Even many pirates in battle were directly shaken up by this force. The aftermath of shockwaves alone can cause such destructive power. And Chen Mu was at the center of the impact, using his body to block all the force of the impact. The strength endured can be imagined. What a arrogant little devil. He wants to take my attack with his bare hands. Black charcoal twilight cicada sneered disdainfully as she looked at the smoke rising in front of her. Just as he thought Chen Mu had been killed by his own attack, he wanted to retrieve the blade from his hand. She suddenly realized that the blade seemed to be stuck in a stubborn rock, and no matter how hard he exerted, the blade remained motionless. How could it be? The black charcoal cicada's forehead suddenly broke out in a cold sweat, staring incredulously at the slowly dispersing smoke and dust before her eyes. I saw Chen Mu standing almost unharmed, holding her blade in his hand. Click. Chen Mu's arms had bulging veins, transmitting immense grip strength to his palms. A crack appeared on the tip of the famous knife that Chen Mu was holding. Ming. Ming Dao shattered. Black charcoal twilight cicada's pupils contracted violently, and she quickly released her grip on Ming Dao. Her body couldn't help but take a few steps back, and then stumbled over the uneven ground before sitting on the ground. Ming Dao is made of extremely hard material, which can be said to be invincible and extremely difficult to damage. And now Chen Mu surprisingly broke her famous knife that she had been using for many years with one hand. She couldn't imagine what terrifying power the other party possessed. At this moment, not only the black charcoal cicada was somewhat surprised, but also many sword-wielding warriors on the rock's ship were equally surprised. As strong swordsmen, they naturally have a strong understanding of swordsmanship. Although the famous sword used by black charcoal cicada in this battle is just an ordinary one. But what kind of hardness do famous knives possess? They it is very clear. Holding a famous sword in one hand, there is no doubt that Chen Mu is a terrifying physical monster. At this moment it was not only black charcoal cicada who shocked Chen Mu's strength, but also the cadres on the ship. This guy, isn't even the twilight cicada a match. The many officials watching on the ship were particularly shocked and they saw the scene before them. Chen Mu's performance in this recruitment ceremony was indeed very strong, easily defeating Kodo, who offered a reward of 40 million bailey. But anyway, he is only a newcomer in the rock's pirates. And the black charcoal twilight cicada is a pirate with a bounty of over 100 million yuan. Moreover, she comes from the country of harmony and possesses excellent swordsmanship. They thought that this battle would be won by black charcoal cicada and beheaded Chen Mu. But this is just what they thought was the situation. 
The real situation was that Chen Mu held the famous sword of black charcoal cicada in one hand and even shattered its blade. And the black charcoal twilight cicada herself sat on the ground with almost no strength to fight anymore. This scene surprised John, Silver Axe, Wang Ji, and other officials. Chen Mu's strength is much more terrifying than they imagined. I didn't expect that even the Twilight Cicada wasn't his match. He's such an interesting newcomer, Silver Axe said as he stared at Chen Mu's figure. When Chen Mu was at war with Black Charcoal Cicada, he was not optimistic about Chen Mu. This is not that he values the strength of the Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada. He evaluated the strength of both sides based on his own inner thoughts and ultimately came to the result. But this result the result is different from what he expected. It can even be said to be very different. Chen Mu now has almost no injuries and his physical strength is almost at its peak. And black charcoal twilight cicada, as a skilled swordsman. If the knife in hand is taken away by someone else, it is equivalent to losing the means of resistance. It seems that the black charcoal cicada has been overwhelmed by Chen Mu's strength in this situation. The Attraction of Ten Golden Lions, Seeking Flowers You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Chia ha ha ha. His strength really surprised me, Edward. The golden lion burst into laughter as he watched the scene on the battlefield. If I had known this kid was so strong, I would have bet more money. At this moment, Whitebeard also smiled. He doesn't know Chen Mu, and the reason he made the bet today is just because he suddenly had such a thought. And coincidentally on the battlefield, I saw Chen Mu's extraordinary performance. Suddenly, Chen Mu had the idea in his heart that he could hold on until the end, and in the end, by a stroke of luck, he placed his bet. I didn't expect you really bet on a treasure. Not only did he instantly kill Cordo, who was offered a reward of 40 million bailey. And even the strong members of the Rock's Pirates, the Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada is not his opponent. It's impossible to hold on to such expressive power until the end. It seems that our Rock's Pirates team is going to join a monster in turn. We haven't had any monster-level fresh blood on board for a long time. I believe even Captain Lox would be interested in this guy. Although Rox is very cruel, he is also very talented. And Chen Mu, who looks so young, possesses such terrifying strength. If nothing unexpected happens, this cadre speculates that Chen Mu naturally has extremely strong talent. There is a high probability that Rox will be interested in such a person. With his strength, it is estimated that he will soon be promoted to full crew by Captain Lox. In this vast sea, it takes a lot of time to advance from an intern to a full crew member on any ship. Especially the Rock's Pirates, where they are all talented and full of villains. A normal person who wants to be promoted from an intern to a full crew member must at least be on an annual basis. But judging from Chen Mu's strength and his ability to defeat the Black Charcoal Cicada's performance. It doesn't take a few years, I believe it only takes a few months to be promoted from an intern to a full crew member. At this moment, on the battlefield Chen Mu threw the famous knife he was holding aside and stared coldly at the Black Charcoal Cicada. The Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada is a strong swordsman, and now its weapons are gone. Even if he still has an armed and domineering aura, in Chen Mu's eyes, he is just a lamb that can be slaughtered by others. Do you want to kill me? Black Charcoal Cicada looked at Chen Mu's approaching body step by step took a cold breath, couldn't help but take a few steps back, and asked in a somewhat frightened tone. I'm not interested in your life, but... This internship recruitment ceremony is not over, Chen Mu said coldly. At present, the recruitment ceremony for interns in the Rock's Pirates has not yet ended. So Chen Mu naturally won't show mercy. Just as Chen Mu was about to take down the black charcoal cicada, a voice suddenly came from behind. The battle has ended, and the remaining living people can now join my Rock's Pirates team and become interns. Chen Mu followed the sound and saw a tall man standing in the middle of the railing of the Lox Pirates. Even the white-bearded, golden lion and others could only stand obediently on either side of him. 
Through observing these places, Chen Mu knew that the speaker was the captain of the Lox Pirates. Having a dream of dominating the world, Rox. Since Lox himself has already spoken, he demands that the battle be over. So there is no need for Chen Mu to continue fighting against the Black Charcoal Cicada. The strength of the Black Charcoal Cicada is completely insignificant in Chen Mu's eyes. You should know that Chen Mu has almost reached the threshold of the fifth door of the eight gates of Duanjiao. If he could open the fifth door, Black Charcoal Cicada would not be his opponent anymore. So now ignoring Locke's orders and killing someone who doesn't pose a threat to him it is not a cost.effective behavior. Moreover, Chen Mu had no interest in the life of the Black Charcoal Cicada. I just want to end the internship selection quickly. Upon hearing the voice of Lox, the entire island stopped fighting. And Chen Mu also roughly scanned the other interns who joined the Rox Pirates. But he basically doesn't know anyone, only Kaido. Although Kaido experienced a bloody battle and was stained with countless amounts of blood, he still did not suffer much damage. That is to say, the pirate who participated in the internship recruitment ceremony this time was only for his warm dot up. It doesn't pose a threat to him at all. Then fifteen survivors arrived on the ship of rocks. I said you're very strong, do you want to follow me on the ship in the future? When Chen Mu boarded the ship, the golden lion approached Chen Mu's invitation road. Although Chen Mu is only an intern now, his ability to defeat the black charcoal cicada with a reward of over 100 million yuan is enough to prove his strength. For such a new monster, the golden lion is naturally very interested and wants to include it under its own flag. The cadres of their rocks pirates, although they all follow rocks. But almost all cadres are at odds with each other. So almost all the cadres are acting independently, cultivating their own power on the rocks ship. For such a situation, Lox naturally turned a blind eye. Because in Rox's view, the cadres and crew on the ship, no matter what kind of division they may have. The only one who ultimately obeyed, Lox. So he was too lazy to manage the situation on the ship and allowed the cadres to act independently. As one of the highest bounties offered by the Rox pirates, the Golden Lion naturally likes to recruit the strong on board to join its own flag. Chen Mu is also among the goals of the Golden Lion. Sorry, I'm not very interested, Chen Mu said lightly. He joined the Rocks Pirates not to form cliques or follow others. He joined this ship simply because on this ship, the efficiency of finding demon fruits is the highest, that's all. Are you sure you don't consider it carefully? If you let the cicada suffer, she won't let you go. The Golden Lion crossed its hands on its chest, grinned, and continued to ask. Upon hearing the words of the Golden Lion, Chen Mu was slightly stunned and glanced at the Golden Lion. It seems that not only I know, that person is the Black Charcoal Cicada. The members of the Rocks Pirates also know. This is also after all, they have been on the ship together for so long. Changing a face doesn't mean you can't recognize it. I'm just a defeated general, what's there to worry about? Chen Mutin spread out his hand and remained unmoved. I admit you have some strength, but... Don't underestimate Mu Chan. He's not a fighter on our ship, but rather responsible for providing advice. You made her bet 50 million Bailey this time, and even defeated her, causing her to lose face. So... She will find a way to retaliate back. What makes Black Charcoal Twilight Cicada strong is not her strength, but her strategy. That's why she is the star of Lox's side. And when Chen Mu became interested in killing the black charcoal cicada, rocks happened to appear. That is to say, this is not necessarily a coincidence. Lost fifty million baileys. Chen Mu whispered to himself upon hearing the words. Upon hearing the words of the golden lion, he knew why the black charcoal twilight cicada had such a strong killing intent towards him when they first met.